Hey Zanzorians, welcome back. Today we're playing Metroid Prime Remastered. I'm playing this on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, we just got to the map station in Fentrano Drifts. We have the wave beam now. So if you missed the last episode, I highly recommend you watch that. Uh, there was a mini boss that we faced that was actually a little bit tougher than most of the other mini bosses we've been facing. Uh, but we have this area to discover. So we're going to be going off to the right here and kind of unlocking this. And then I bet you there's some special stuff in here. I'm expecting there to be a main boss in this large domed area. Because the last main boss in Kozo Ruins, that giant plant called Flagra. Uh, it was in a giant domed area like that as well. So let's head on back. Uh, we are in a space pirate facility. So they are going to be running around. The wave beam is effective against them because when you hit them with the wave beam, they kind of get stunned. Um, it's also effective against these turrets. But that's what ends up happening when you hit one. Where it kind of goes crazy and malfunctions. So you just have to be careful. That malfunctioning though would be nice if there's a lot of uh, space pirates around. I can actually use that to fire on the space pirates because of course their turrets aren't going to fire on themselves. Oh yeah, and the wave beam can take out plasma enemies like that or energy based enemies. Yeah, I heard something on the other side of this wall. Oh, there's definitely people over there. It's a couple of them. Every you face space pirates, you always get this music. And then when they're gone, is there more? When they're gone, it's the music supposed to stop. Okay, I don't know why the music didn't stop. Maybe it's an issue. Let me go up above before I scan all this stuff. There's definitely some lore here. We want to see what's going on, but... Is that all of them now? So I figured out the combo. Nice. Yeah, I, I have a one-two combo on this one. So if you uh, shoot them with the charged up wave beam and then hit them with a missile after that, the charged beam stuns them. Obviously it hurts when you get hit with that anyway. And then you can easily shoot him with a missile without him missing. So that is fantastic. And there's a whole bunch in here. And we do want to go up. But I also want to jump back down and kind of look at what they're looking at. So without going into too much data, it looks like that's a Metroid right there. Uh, I'm not going to read everything. But it looks like, obviously, they're experimenting with Metroids right now. Uh, which isn't very smart, guys. Why would you do that? They're life suckers. Energy suckers. I don't see anything else in this area, so we're going to head on up. There's a lot of turrets in here. This area is highly defended. I wonder what they got back here. Or where they, why do they need three turrets in this little room? We got a friend. Oh! Get over here, buddy. Man, these guys got hops. It's okay, I, got, I do too. I got the double hops. This single hop up there though, that's nuts. Uh, looks like there's some more fun stuff to explore here. Let me go ahead and grab this energy. Got a whole bunch of stuff here. Ooh, some pirate data. Scans of the spiral sector detected a massive energy spike emanating from a wanderer class plan identified as Talon 4. A scout reconnaissance was immediately dispatched to the center of the spike, a land mass at heading mark 
40802 returns planetary samples and atmospheric imagery. Analysis shows the energy source to be an unstable radioactive material of enormous potential. We are un unable to form an accurate risk assessment at this time. We are unlikely to find an energy source this powerful. Again, analysis will continue, but currently Talon 4 appears to be a viable secondary headquarters. Well, that makes sense. I mean, it's a great energy source. Let's read this one too before we unlock everything. More pirate data here. Phase on mining is underway, so it's the phase on they want. Several garrisons have been established and terraforming of the Kozo ruins is underway. Security systems are operational and science team continues to make progress in their biotech research. The Fendrano Drifts have proven to be an optimal location for research headquarters and soon it will be joined by a fully operational combat base in Starport. If commands predictions are half true, we shall rise to dominance in the sector within a deca cycle. Was that de what? Within a deca cycle? What's a deca cycle? Truly, these are glorious times. So glorious. So glorious we... Our ship blew up. Holographic sequence initialized. Holographics. So we're we'll going first. What are we doing? Turn on some pumps. Okay. Can I up there? Wow, I didn't think she'd go that high. That was pretty impressive. Yep. Let me do that. And one more. What is this doing for me? Ooh. Astrology. Ooh. What's up there? Well, let's into optimal viewing. We got lots. What's this? Research. Hold on. Oh, that's Talon 4. So ecos ecosystem studies indicate that Talon 4 was a biological paradise prior to the impact of the extraterrestrial object. The remains of the biosphere are slowly fading due to exposure to phase-on radiation. At current rate of decay, Talon 4 will be a barren class 8 wasteland in approximately 25 years. That is upsetting. Planet Zebes. Planet's crust is primarily earthic ore, making it ideal for subterranean construction. A class, what is that, 19? Planet Zebes in, in, inhospitable to most bioforms. The world was considered unremarkable until it became a base for space pirate forces. Oh, well, we know their bases now. So we want to go up. There's something important up there. Provided we can actually make it up here. So what is this? It's a new beam. It's gotta be a heat beam. Oh no, it's a super missile! Nice! So how do I do this? Uh, this powerful attack uses five missiles using the power beam. Press and hold the trigger and then obviously shoot. While it's charged, you shoot with a missile. Cool. Well, that's interesting. Um, well, we don't need it for everything, but let's go ahead. Well, there's something over here. We're gonna go this way first. Safe station. How convenient. All right, so we're gonna head on over here and there's gotta be a location where we have to actually use this, right? What is this? Where does this go? Control top, wait a, whoa. Wait, control tower. Are you buddies? Or not so buddies? There's one. Ah! Real space pirates. Look at them fly. Okay, you're done. Yeah? We do it? 
Nope, they brought friends. Yeah, these guys suck to fight. Done now? Oh, wow. Those guys are not fun to fight. I just came from there, so I want to go this way. Why that didn't lock down? Uh, we're going to a lab now. Yeah, if only it didn't lock down, it wouldn't have been a problem, but it locked down hard, so I couldn't even get out of there. I had to fight them. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, be a cute pet if it didn't want to suck your life force. It's got three brains. It's really smart. Metroids are the smartest creature in the world. In this world. Scan it now. Let's go ahead and read about it, because this is actually what the game's named over, right? Talon Metroid Energy-Based Parasitic Predator. The effects of the Phazon have turned these Metroids, a species of Alpha Predator native to SR388, into a unique subspecies found only on Talon 4. A Talon Metroid will latch onto its prey and drain energy, growing larger as it does. The only way to shake an attached Talon Metroid is to enter a Morph Ball mode and lay a bomb. You gotta catch me first! Alright, let's, let's thumb catch this. Where'd you go? I'm supposed to like... I am supposed to fight him. What a butt. That guy is a baller. I mean seriously. He knew there was a breach with a Metroid and he just ran in ready to handle it. Anything else? Anything else? And why are you guys experimenting on these? That was such a bad idea. Look at that. Well, I can't get to that yet. Unless there's a way to scan and open that. Uh, elevator operational. I wonder if I can turn off that alarm, because that's kind of annoying. Metroids infused with phase on strain vertical are thriving. We feel they could be class one energy harvesters if proper submission measures are employed. You guys are so dumb. Trying to use them to gather energy? What, from other people? What's down there? Hold on. I want to explore here really quick. I want to see if we can unlock any of this stuff. I feel like there's something we can do with that. Aha! Super Missile did break it open. Very nice. More energy for me. Alright, well, we're continuing forward. We got our energy. Wait, did I scan you before? What the heck? How is that thing dodging me so easily? Goodbye. Where are your friends? Oh god, they're your friends. See ya! What's this? More pirate data? Central tank, a tank, auxiliary circuit connection terminate. Ooh, what is that? New visor. What is this stuff? Central tank, main circuit connection terminated? And I just have to get rid of those rings. Alright, cool. Yeah, all the way at the top. I should have scanned that. Wasn't really paying attention. Alright, let's uh, get him back down there. Shortcut. Give me! Pfizer! Yes! Not talking about the COVID vaccine. Thermal Visor! Alright, how do I change this? 
Oh, okay, duh. It's just like the other sky scanners. Okay. Well, maybe use it immediately, didn't it? I don't see anything else. Oh, this is for ice. I gotta come back here? Okay. Uh, well, we can. We have to leave the facility now, and unfortunately, if the power is out, that means we're probably gonna have to face some Metroids. Because I don't know if these force fields will stay. No, they have to stay active during a power outage, right? That'd be poor design if they didn't. I'm not walking by you. You're not. I knew it. Good night. Alright, we'll keep this charged up. Yeah, the force fields are weakened, so it can actually bust its way out now. At least they're not too difficult to kill when they're just one on one. What is this? It's a sentry drone, well armed and armored security mecha. Sentry drones have limited intelligence, but do their assigned task well, being machines that are susceptible to electrical attacks. When alerted drones initiate a security lockdown and then attempt to neutralize the intruder, their electronic welfare suite can scramble visor technology as well. Well. Those things suck to fight. Wow. All right, I have to remember. What is it, dude? So I have to remember that, of course, mechanical units are going to give off a heat pattern that's easier to track. So I need to keep my eyes open for turrets. Can I get over there? Ah, dang it. What is over here? Hold on. Oh, I can do this. All right, hold on. We want to grab this. Even though it's like, dang it. Dark, I should have done this one sooner. Got it. Cool. More missiles. We got some more pirate data that I missed when we met our first Metroid. So it says the reconstruction of Geoform 187, codenamed Ridley, was recently completed after his defeat on Zebes, Zebes, command ordered a number of metagenic improvements for him. Though aggressive, we were able to implement these changes in a cycle. The metamorphosis was painful, but quite successful in the end. Early tests indicate a drastic increase in strength, mobility, and offensive capability. Cybernetic modules and armor plating have been added as well. We believe our creation, now called Meta Ridley, will become the mainstay of our security force, a job he will certainly relish. Hey, so we did get the official name. Meta really is his name. I thought that I remembered that correctly. Oh, cool. Can actually see. Okay, these guys are still invisible though. Gotta keep this visor on. How many of these guys are there? Alright, we should be almost be out of here. There's a lot of running and gunning. Hey! Oh, thank God. We finally made it back to normal Fendrana Drifts. We do not like going into the Space Pirate facilities. Space Pirates are buttheads. Let's go ahead and save. Alright, so this is what we could do over here. And this is what I remember. This is the only thing I can think I can remember. Uh, when we put on our visor, you can see there's actually energy here. We can shoot this. Can't shoot that yet. Hold on. I keep doing that. I keep hitting the wrong button. 
So we're going to switch on over to here. And we're going to use a super missile. To blow that open so then we can actually switch on back. And energy has been restored to the door. Bye. Bye. Oh. What is that? Oh, we're going down. What do we got? Big boss time. What is that? It's a giant rock. It's a rock monster. Oh, fantastic. What is your weakness, dude? What the heck? Where do these things come from? It's like straight off Star Trek. All right, let's go ahead and read about him. Thardis, an animated sentient creature of stone charged with phazon radiation. The phazon radiation given off by Thardis negates auto-targeting systems, that's unfortunate, preventing a lock-on. It may be possible to acquire alternate targets with a different visor. So we're gonna use our new visor. The chaotic nature of phazon uh, uh, radiation leads to instability in its structural integrity. Thardis can encase its targets in ice, and its colossal size and strength make it a formidable opponent. All right, oh, that's what we're looking for. Oh, I didn't even press that button. Ah! What? Okay, use the boost ball to get away. That's a nice tip. Get his stupid leg. Come on, you big butt. Alright, he's gonna wanna roll me over now. Oh, I'm pressing my button again. Ow! I keep on hitting the wrong button. Alright, let's try, uh. There goes his leg. Which? Wait, the game just had an issue. Hold on, hold on. I can't see. What just happened there? I literally got frozen. I couldn't do anything. That was interesting. Alright. Alright, it's gonna go rolly. Come on, Thardis. Okay. I think I have one more weak spot on this guy. What are you doing? What is this? What are you doing? What the heck is going on? Go! Run! Yeah, I can change the freaking elements, man. Just made it super misty and snowy in here. Yes? Yes? Dardis, you done? No. Look at all this health! This dude is invincible, man. Alright, what we got here? He's really mad. He's phasing into the wall. Dude is nuts. Come on, trigger finger! No! No! No, don't try to ball! No! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! My head hurts. Some focus, man. Oh, crap. A spider ball! Oh, completely worth it. 
Alright, let's suck up any extra stuff we have here. I don't know if there's anything running around. Worth it! So worth it! We can do a lot with the spider ball. So press and hold ZL when in a morph ball mode to attach the spider ball track. Woohoo! So that's the only way you can get out of here, too. How convenient. Uh, so there's, looks like there's two ways to get in there. There's a tunnel in the back, and then there's that over there. All right, let's go up this track. What we got up here? Is there anything important? Whee! So that's the way out. Where is this going? Where is this taking me? Uh, we're going here. What was that other tunnel, though? Hold on. That. Oh, I can't get to that. Whatever it is, you need the grapple hook. Okay, well, next time, maybe. Let's go on in here. Yeah, this is definitely not a place we've been... Sorry, I got confused, because it looked like the exact same setup from when we got here. Wait, what's this? Bet we're going up here first. Wait, I don't think I can do anything to this. Oh man. Well, first time I get to use my spider ball ability and I can't even do anything with it. Let's go ahead and scan this. Magmore Caverns! Again! The place is huge! Got here. Save station? Of course it's a save station. Alright, so we're going to stop right here. We got a, an awesome unlock. We actually got a lot of cool stuff, so we're pretty stacked. We still have, technically, I believe, two more visors to get if you're looking at the blocks. And then I think we're getting... Well, sorry. One more visor to get. That's my mistake. I think we're getting one more visor and then two more beam rifles. But we're looking good. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you in the next episode. Who's up?